Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Ah, I'm so excited for today's video actually. Today's video, we are gonna be testing out old iconic favorites of mine. Things that were just in my collection. Things that I loved back in the day. I actually had to buy like over half this stuff because I didn't have it in my collection anymore. Things I loved from like five, six, seven years ago. Hi guys, really, really, really quick. Quick shout out. To Macy's for sponsoring today's video. You guys are amazing. I love you. Manny out on the field out. I just wanted to quickly say that. I want to retry them and see if I'll re-fall in love with them. Or is it something that I don't love as much in this like day and age of makeup? Like my makeup style has changed so much that I'm like, does this hold up for me? Or is it like it's not gonna last in this day and age? I don't know. I don't know. So I was like, oh, I have to try it. Like I'm so curious and I want to know like what the tea is with um these goodies. By the way, huge shout out to Macy's for partnering with me in today's video. I am so excited. The fact that I was able to get all these things at Macy's, literally you guys, li <laughs> listen. Macy's is literally a one-stop shop for holidays this year, for next year and years to come. Literally, they have it all. They have like the cozy, they have the glam, they have the clothes, they have the chic, they have everything that you could possibly need. It's Macy's. Uh, it's Macy's for goodness sake, it's Macy's. Also the really cool thing about Macy's too is that they have this online holiday gift guide, which I actually think is so genius. Cause the thing, this is the thing, even for me, like I will get so stumped on a product, like what should I get this person, what should I get this person? They have like a tier system where it's like $15, a $25 section, $50 section, $100 section, all of gifts that you can kind of sift through. And I just think it's really, really smart. And I think it's really, really genius to be quite honest. So that's macy's.com slash gifts if you guys want to check that out. I just think it's smart, honestly. I'm stressed, like I need help. And so the fact that like it kind of helps you out, gives you a gift guide itself, is really, really cool. So shout out to Macy's. Who doesn't like Macy's, honestly? like. It's Macy's. It's Macy's. Like, what? So yeah, guys, that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna do all, testing all my old favorites and see if they're up to par. Are they up to par with what I do now, what makeup I like now? I don't know. That's the gag. That's the gagatondra. That's the gagatondra. So, um, that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't like watch another joke with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like glam, if you guys like the gays, <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny Mue. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah, let's go get started on today's video using some iconic old goodies. So first things first, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and prime. A lot of these things I actually had to buy myself, like over half of the collection here I had to buy because I didn't have a lot of this stuff. I must have like gotten rid of it in some way or like decluttered or given it away. So I don't even know what happened to him. But one thing is my professional from Benefit. I didn't have one here at the house and I was like, what? How? I have a special relationship with Professional because Professional actually got me hired at my first makeup retail job. <laughs> I literally remember going in for the interview and I sold a professional to someone before I had my interview and they saw it on the cameras and they're like, oh, um, did you just sell a professional? I'm like, yeah, they were oily and had large pores and needed something that was gonna be good for that. And I was like, a professional was the best thing I had thought at the time. And they're like, that's a great suggestion. And they hired me. So professional has just a special place in my heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and take professional on the cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in. I mean, I can already see a difference. It mattified me immediately. You can see a little bit more of a sheen here, mattified. Ooh and my pores absolutely look smaller. The thing is with this though, the consistency is so heavy and intense for me. Like I don't really like it like I once did. I need a little more on the softer end when it comes to pore filling and priming. Like I wanted to still fill my pores slightly, I don't want it to feel so heavy, you know, and mattify my skin so much. It literally feels like a liquid powder, if that makes any sense. It feels like a liquid powder, and I don't know if I love that consistency anymore. <laughs> I don't think I do love the consistency anymore, actually. I've just decided in this exact moment I don't love it anymore. But, I mean, my skin looks dope, and I love that benefit is continuing with the professional line. Like, I really, really, really like the professional setting spray. I think it's so good. It's so good. So, yeah, we're primed. Wow! Now let's go in with our foundation next, which I'm so excited about because I haven't actually worn this. Oh my God, how long has it been? I would say maybe six, maybe seven years I've worn this. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I used to wear this every day to work 
back in the day. Every single day to work. And the fact, I haven't, like, I don't know why I haven't gotten it. Like, why haven't I gotten it? I don't know. I don't know why I haven't gotten it, but they have, of course, NARS. You guys, Macy's has, like, such a huge assortment in the beauty space, if you guys do not know. Hair care, beauty, skin care. They have toys. They have clothes. They have literally everything you could possibly need for the holiday season. So, you know, I'm just going to use a nice assortment of variety here. I'm taking the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Fiji. This is what I use in Natural Radiant, even though it's slightly darker than me, and I probably shouldn't be using it. I didn't get a pump. I forgot about the mother effing pump. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Fiji. I used to be obsessed with this because it gave me the most gorgeous finish and it had such a nice coverage too. So I was like, he was a win, Binchy win. Okay, we're taking this. Wow, sheer glow. I'm like shocked I'm using this right now. Like I haven't used this in so long. I don't know, why did I stop using it? Huh, because I stopped getting a discount because I stopped working at the place I was working at. That's why. But I remember it being such a beautiful finish. Are you joke? Like, come on. This is stunning. So I would say, so overall, right now we have Porefessional. I would not continue to use Porefessional. I would say this one is not up to standards now for my primer that I would like love to use continuously now. But it's such a great line and Porefessional would work great if you are like more, again, on the oily side, pore side. I just don't like the consistency anymore. Like I like a softer consistency when it comes to primers. Now, when it comes to the foundation, I 100% still love this. Like even putting it on right now, I'm like, why did I stop using you? Like it gives me a gorgeous medium coverage, almost full coverage actually. Um, And I just feel like it gives me such a nice finish. Like in that sheer glow, it's definitely not sheer coverage. Sheer glow does give me a nice glow to the skin, but not too glowy where someone like me who is more on the, or at least I can still wear it and still feel beautiful in it. This is still so nice. Also you guys, let me say shout out to Macy's for giving people so many options for shopping this holiday season. Like for example, curbside pickup. That is a huge thing. A lot of people don't want to actually go into stores and get stuff because, you know, obviously we live in a crazy tumultuous time right now. So a lot of people don't want to go into stores and get things. So the fact that we have curbside pickup as an availability for Macy's is I think really, really, really cool. You can buy online, pick it up in store, contactless delivery. Like there's so many options that they offer. They also have a buy now, pay later kind of situation with Klarna, which I think is so amazing. You can do Venmo, you can do PayPal. They just have a lot of options. I think that's really, really cool that a huge company like that is able to give so many options for their customer and their consumer, especially in a time like this. So I think it's really, really cool that they're doing that and shout out to Macy's for that. Like. That's cool. Okay guys, so because I combined this with my Porefessional, it's giving me more of a satin, soft satin finish rather than it being too glowy, which I actually think looks literally stunning. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I really do. Like I forget how much I like this. It's, I think it looks gorgeous. I feel like my skin just looks super smooth and like effortlessly stunning. Now let's move on to our concealer right here. Right here, right here. I didn't have, I actually did have one of these, but I felt like it is expired. This <laughs> is the MAC Pro Long. This is the one I actually have and it's like two different colors. So I'm like, it might not be the best one. So I ended up getting a new one. This is the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC. And, and W20, I used to be consumed with this concealer. It was my go-to, my all-time favorite. It's full coverage. I use it to prime my eyes all the time as well. I just absolutely loved it and had this little like cute packaging, this little pump. I remember being really frustrated by the pump though because it would always pump out too much product. I'm always like, send help. Like one pump was plenty, like half a pump. I didn't need so much, you know? They don't always give me too much. Oh, it's coming out a little bit less now. Okay, nice. I'll use this. I actually probably don't even need this much, but here we are. Okay, we're applying it on. We're packing it on. We're already looking more glowy. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells like iconic, like MAC stuff. Like it smells like Pro Longwear. It smells like it's never coming off. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It smells like it's never coming off. Wow, this smell actually is very nostalgic for me. It's so weird to smell this. This is so beautiful. Look how brightening it is. Okay, this is still, this is still up there. This is still slaying for me. So far, the sheer glow and this concealer is still Still has my heart, actually. Completely and effortlessly. Also, you guys, shopping at Macy's, there is just so much, you know, benefits and loyalty member situations at hand when it comes to Macy's. Macy's money. We got that Macy's money. Like, that is so cool that they offer so many different things for their customers. There's just many advantages to shopping at Macy's and the things I've talked about are just a few of many, you know? Okay, honestly, I'm kind of loving my face. I do, I'm sorry, I can't help. I can't help it, I think I look stunned. I think I look stunned.
done in. I'm gonna go and just highlight a little bit with my NW20 down the center of my face. A little bit here as well. Like I feel like I need a little bit in my my laugh lines. I'd be you guys, I'd be cracking there. I'd be creasing and cracking. Also, do you see okay? <gasps> I forgot about this because the other ah! okay. Honestly, this is going on the desk. Um, anyway, I forget that this one doesn't crease very fast either. It doesn't crease fast at all. Gives me amazing coverage and it's not hella creasy. You guys, who still uses Mac Pro Longwear? Like, are you kidding? Like, where's the creases? I've never seen one. <sighs> okay, guys, so now we're going with our powders. Okay, a win, a win. Now I'm going with my one of my go-to old school powders. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I know a lot of people still use this all the freaking time. For good reason, it's so good. I'm gonna see if I still like, I haven't actually used it in years. Because I just, there's, again, there's a lot of other powders I really, really enjoy. Something a little more on the lighter weight side, but it doesn't mean that I didn't love it when I would use it all the time. I mean, she was the blueprint. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves here. She was the absolute blueprint for a lot of other powders. Take a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. Do you guys remember that time? Like that time in the beauty space where everyone and their mother was using Laura Mercier Translucent? I'm not saying that's not still now. It could very well still be now. I just, there's just so many other powders out there that I really, really enjoy too. But this is one of those old school ones that I truly don't think I'll ever not love. Look how smoothing it is. I have questions. Why am I not using these things again? Like I actually, that's that's my question. Why am I not using Laura Mercier Translucent? When I look this smooth. So you're telling me I don't use these things when I look this smooth? Okay, we're gonna have to call the police. We're gonna have to call the police. Love the finish. I feel like it looks so pretty on my skin. It's smoothing, but not heavy or drying to me. And it gives me a gorgeous satin matte finish. Like, what else could we want? What else could we ask for? She's a Fritz Brene, we can't do any better. Okay, so now what are we gonna go in with next? An iconic bronzer I used to be literally obsessed with, where I, it was to the point where I was literally the face of this bronzer for a little while, and that is with Benefit Cosmetics. We did uh, a little collaboration back in the day with Hula, and Hula, honestly, she is that girl. She's just that girl. Again, another blueprint product. I used to be obsessed with this years and years and years ago. Now I just, just so many other products that I'm obsessed with bronzing wise, but Hula was the blueprint. She was that girl. Okay, so dipping in immediately, there's so <laughs> much product that gets kicked up on this, like alarmingly. Alarmingly! We're gonna put it onto the skin. Oh. Okay, you know what? So here's the thing. For me, I think the reason I probably end up stopping using Hoola, because one, I thought it was a little bit warm on me. Like the color itself became like a little warm. I think it's because for me, like I was like also less like tan now. I'm like a lot less tan now than I used to be. I also have vitiligo now, which is like, I don't like go in the sun as much as I once did. Not saying that I went to the sun all the time ever. Like I'm still, n I've never been a sun person, but it's still like, it's like so intense. I just, I go in it a lot less now than I once did. So I just feel like the color might not really work on my skin tone anymore. It just might not work on my skin tone anymore. And it's also extremely pigmented. Um, I've kind of come to realize I like bronzers and complexion products that are a little bit more buildable and not necessarily so um, intense right away. So this one is a little bit more intense right away and you have to kind of work a little bit harder at it because you have to do a lot more blending and not so much building. It just kind of depends. Like if you, if you like products that are really intense immediately, has a lot of color payoff right away, I think you guys will love it. And honestly, Hula is iconic. It's a classic and she, will always be that girl. I just think that for me now, it's to the point where it's like, it's a little bit too intense for me, where I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if it matches my skin tone either. <laughs> I do think that I look, I, I mean, I think I look pretty when I'm bronze, like I do. I do enjoy a little bronze moment, but like, it's a bit intense, man. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I'm gonna take a little bit of hula on a little like pencil, like a little eye brush. There's that. I literally tapped it off, so. Huh. So here's the thing. It's just a bit pigmented for me. I would say if you're more tan than me and you don't mind like a pigmented, pigmented bronzer, I think you guys would live the fantasy. But being that I'm not tan, <laughs> here we are. So send help immediately. I need you to call 911 for me. What do you think? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the color on me? Like, do you think that 
it's a good shade. Like, should I go deeper with my bronzers usually? Or, or nar. Clear. So blush, you guys, I had to buy. This is the Mineralized MAC Blush in the shade Warm Soul. Warm Soul Blush truly was legendary. Um, What other word than legendary would that be? I don't know. Legendary, iconic, show-stopping, incredible, wonderful. Everything that a blush should be was Warm Soul. So we're gonna dip into Warm Soul here. I didn't have one of these. I don't know why I didn't have it. It's devastating. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just like this gorgeous. It's a gorgeous gird. It's a gorgeous, like, nude satin finish blush. I just can't even describe it because I haven't used it in forever. So we're gonna have to put it on and I'll let you know what I'm thinking, okay? Okay, we're gonna dip in to right here. I'm really gonna load that up. I remember like really, really being obsessed with this blush because Samantha Randoval, AKA S -S 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 Samantha was obsessed with it. So I was like, I'm obsessed with it too because I wanna be cool like her. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Warm Soul onto my cheeks right above the contour or like the bronzer. Huh, it's way more shimmery than I remember. Um, excuse me. Me? I'm not saying that it's not pretty. I'm not saying it's not pretty, but it's so much more shimmery than I was expecting. And the color's a lot less color than I remember as well. I could have sworn there was a little bit more of a base color where it would look like I was wearing like a base color blush with a slight sheen. This is much more like a heavy sheen with a slight undertone color. I wasn't expecting this. You know what, when you build it though, I don't mind. Okay, um, what do you guys think? I feel like this is so much different than what I was expecting. I was expecting for some reason more color, less of a shimmer. I got more shimmer than color. I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just not what I was expecting in any way, shape or form. I'm a little indifferent about that one because it was just different. I wasn't expecting it. I used to be obsessed with this. Did they change the formula a little bit? So I remember having it, like I didn't have it in this packaging back in the day. It was a different packaging. There was no opening, it was just like a pew. I mean, it looks pretty though. <laughs> now that's like on my skin, I actually do think it looks pretty. It's it's kind of warming up on me, warming souling on me. I will say it's growing on me and I didn't expect that. I like it, I like it, I like it. So far, I have more likes than dislikes right now. Like so far, it's, it's going good. It's going good for us. I'm actually pretty stoked. Let's go with some highlighter now and we're gonna go in with another legend. This is Miss Becca Champagne Pop, which was a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and it was truly like a monumentous moment in the beauty space in general when it comes to beauty gurus, etc. It was so cool. Jacqueline worked so hard to come out with Champagne Pop with Becca Cosmetics and it was such an amazing collaboration and such great product that people were obsessed with it. And I was people, I'm people. <laughs> so they honestly really killed it. They really, really killed it with that. So um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Smashbox actually took over a little bit of Becca's products. So you can still find those products in Macy's. So you guys, if you guys ever want to try, let's say the under eye, you know, concealer, like the little, uh, the Becca corrector or champagne pop, you guys can find it, but like did a collaboration with Smashbox to so, like keep it, which I thought was really cool. I've never actually heard of a brand doing that before ever. Have you? I don't think I've ever heard of that before, but it was freaking iconic. It's cool. Anyway, we're gonna go in with some champagne pop, which I have not used in so long. Cause I have it like in my vault, you know, I have it in like, my collector stuff, things I don't want to ever get rid of because it was like iconic. So I'm gonna take a little bit of champagne pop right here. <laughs> so champagne pop is still popping. Champagne pop is still like, girl. Okay. You guys, I'm so glowy. I need, oh my gosh, I didn't even spritz my face and it's still like this intense. You guys. When it comes to highlighters, Jacqueline does them right. She always has. This is such a good color on me. Like that perfect like champagne pop. I'm <laughs> just kidding, I've always known. Anyway, that is amazing and it still slays to this day. It still slays to this day and I did rhyme and you can call me Dr. Seuss if you would like, Dr. Manny. Do you know what I get all the time? That I look like Dr. Mike or that Dr. Mike and I look similar that we could be related in some way. That's a really big compliment and I will take it happily. Let's go and do a little spritz on my face. I'm gonna take Mac Fix Plus. We have to, we had to, she was, oh my God, I mean, it just shot out like a rocket. Oh, the sm the sound. You guys, if you're watching this video, is this giving you nostalgia too or is it just me? This is giving me some major throwback nostalgia. Fix Plus is still legendary. I still love Fix Plus. This was, I didn't have to buy this one. I actually still had this one. It's not on my desk, but it should be. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our brows. And back then there was one brand that truly dominated the brow category. And I think we can all kind of guess what brand that is. ABH. And I was a dip brow fan. 
I know the shutter heard around the world. I know. Listen, I wasn't as makeup savvy as I am now, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is cracked and crumbled, honey. She's cracked and crumbled. I should have bought a new one. I already, I thought I had extra lens. Yeah. So what I would do is I would literally do the like carving out of the brows. I know. But the thing is now, I'm gonna use these products I used to be obsessed with back in the day, and I'm gonna turn it into a sleigh. And I didn't mean to rhyme, but I just did. Absolutely. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this on a Anastasia brush, a 12 brush, and I'm going to, oh, you guys recognize this? Oh, we're gonna be using that too. Modern Ren, Modern Renaissance, yup. We're gonna lightly do tiny hair-like strokes with the shade Soft Brown. I repeat, we are using slight little strokes with the shade Soft Brown. I used to go in with the shade Ebony or Chocolate. Don't want to talk about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna use it very, very sparingly. You can still use Dip Brow and use it sparingly, you guys. It's not like a product that you need to fear. There was a while though, I did fear it. I feared her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more on the bottom of my brow, a little more structure, and the, the top is gonna to be a little more fluffy. It's a little warm, it's a little warm, it's a little brown, it's a little warm, it's a little brown. So now I'm gonna take this and just kind of feather it through any kind of sparse-ish area. You guys, I had the issue of doing block brows. Did anyone else do that, like back in the day? Did anyone else do like blocked brows? Cause I was that person. I really was. And so now I'm gonna take this bully and run it through. Just run it through. If you just use it super sparingly, it's not scary. Like, I just didn't do that back in the day. Look at that, that soft brow, like, didn't think it was possible, huh? Neither did I. And then I'll just take a classic clear gel, and I'll just run the ABH clear brow gel through it, and that was my whole brow. That's what I would always use. This looks a lot better than I feel like I once did. I'm gonna just do one side on camera and then do the other eye off camera. So, I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. She was and continues to be that girl. However, I did not have her. Mm-hmm, didn't have one. And I had to buy it, yep. So I'm taking Miss Mac Painterly. It's like basically, so Painterly was like a primer, like a flesh-toned priming primer. And it would be honestly so fantastic for like longevity and long wear of your shadow. And it would always just kind of cover up all your discoloration, everything you would need to cover. Look at that! What the freaking heck? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? No discoloration in sight. This is the gorgeous side and that's the flop side. Look at that vein. Jesus. Give me a darn second. Ain't no one gonna tell me about that triumphant vein right there. Ain't no one gonna tell me nothing. I lightly set it with some translucent powder. Very, very lightly. Okay guys, so who's ready for some shadows? And you guys already saw the palette I was holding up earlier. I'm taking Miss Modern Renaissance. You guys, this, this is my personal one. Oh, and she's a wreck. But honestly, because she's gotten so much love in these years that I've used her. And honestly, just looking at it is like nostalgic. This is my first Modern Renaissance I ever bought and I will never get rid of it. I literally don't think I'll ever, 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 ever get rid of this. Because it's like these, like it's just funny even doing this video is very nostalgic for me because it just kind of, it gives me like the reminiscent times. I don't know where I was at the time when I was even using these products in my career as a whole, as a person, as a human being. Like it's so fascinating to kind of even use this stuff. It's so weird. It's so weird. Look at it, it's still just a pigmentation and I've had these for years. One of Renaissance truly is that girl though and will always be. I'm just gonna lightly carve out some shades. Honestly, it's just as good still. It's just as bomb. I don't know what to tell you guys. Like it's just as amazing as I remember. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet with the eye, but we're just gonna play around. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go do the eyes off camera and I'll be right back. Or actually I'll do the eyeshadow off camera and I'll be back to do some liner because I have a, an iconic liner I used to do. <laughs> okay guys, so we are back and the eyes are on and the brows are filled. Back and the brows are filled and the eyes are... <laughs> Okay, it's a mess. But also like the brows, they could be better. I had to like sharpen them out, out here a little bit because this one wasn't curtaining out like as easy as the right one was. So I had to sharpen them out a little bit, which is a little strange because I haven't really done that in a long time. It's like more of a structured vibe where the top is still kind of fluffy. It's just been a while since I've done a brow like this. Uh, and I'm not used to it because the other one just wasn't working. I couldn't just do it with the, I couldn't fluff it. I couldn't fluff it. Okay, so let's go on with mascara now. Products I had to buy, mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. 
she was a legend as well, you guys. These are all legends. Do you guys remember this blue packaging? Come on, we're gonna go and apply some. I already curled my lashes. I never use this on the top, like ever. I never use this on the top. We're just doing it for now because it's a mascara I have, but I would always use it for my lower lashes because I felt like it coated it gorgeously. It separated gorgeously. Everything about it was literally stunning. I'm gonna have to put this on my desk. Gonna have to. Look how big my lower lashes look. Are you kidding me right now? Like, look how huge they look. Massive. Is it the best for the top lashes? No, not really. I never even used it for the top lashes when I used to use this. I only would ever use it for my lower lashes and I remember why. Okay, I'm also gonna use a little bit of an eyeliner, just a little bit to make my lash line a little bit deeper. And I'm gonna go in with this. This was the literal like only pen liner there was back in the day. I'm not kidding. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah, Stila. I mean, there was, I'm sure there was other ones out there on the market, but this is the first one I ever experienced was this one. So for me, this is like the old school one for me. It is a felt tip, haunts me, you know that. But she was literally like the OG. I mean, it's still very black, still very intense. I don't wanna do too much because I don't wanna cover up the shadow. I just wanna deepen my lash line, but look at that. Still super intense, still super black. Wow, okay, I haven't used it in so long. See, for me, I, again, I don't like felt tip. Never have, probably never will. I mean, this is the only one that I even used back in the day because it was the only option I had ever saw. How, why can't I ever do the right side? Or the left side, my hands won't let me. Uh, what I will say about this one though that I don't like, it's a little bit stiff, it's a stiffy. It also has a little bit of a shiny finish, which I don't like. So I don't know if I would continue to use this one. This one might be still for the vault. It might stay in the vault for me because I just start lube. I don't lube it. Um, anyway, moving right along. I need to put a lash on actually. Let me go put a lash on, I'll be right back here. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have my little lash on now. We have a lash on. I've always worn lashes. You can't take that from me. You can't take it from me, darling. So we have a little bit of a lash on now. And now we're going with our lip products and that'll be it for the video. So you guys, I have a bunch of lip products here that I want to use and try out. So first things first, we're gonna lip line and we're gonna be using our NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that the only lip liner I would ever use, literally ever for any lip that I would do, was NYX Peekaboo Neutral, and I had no idea that Macy's actually carried NYX Cosmetics. So, if you guys are looking for NYX Cosmetics, you can also find them at Macy's, which is really cool. So we're gonna go in with NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. It was like the perfect, like pinky brown nude color for me. It almost was like my lip color, but a little bit deeper. I thought I would always use it. See how it just kind of looks like my actual lip tone. This is why I was so obsessed because I was like, oh, I can just make myself look like I have like bigger lips naturally without it looking so much bigger. So this is what Peekaboo Neutral looks like on one side of my lips. I feel like my lips looks, I mean, obviously they look so much bigger, <laughs> but they're not the most like unnatural look. Like if I lip line only, it wouldn't look super unnatural. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off lip line. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. I just feel like it's a little bit darker version of my natural lip line. It's like a medium toned pink nude. I will say, I don't really reach for shades like this anymore though, I will say. I tend to go for a little bit more on the brown side to mix in with like a nude lipstick. It's gonna give me more of a lip contour effect, not necessarily like an exact lip tone. So this is what I would do. I would lip line with Peekaboo Neutral and then I would go in with MAC Myth lipstick. So this is literally, I think, Max lightest color nude that they create. It's like a super, 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 super nude. So I'll go myth in the center and all over my lip. I loved that blocked out lip look where I looked like I was wearing concealer. So I would do the whole lip in myth. Oh. <laughs> Seeing me in a pink lip with myth only, it's honestly a little shocking. This is literally like a throwback for me. Like I would literally wear this all the time. Oh, and of course I would add a gloss. I would always use Buxom White Russian. So it was a super pale nude uh, lip gloss color. So you can see what it looks like right here. Super pale nude lip gloss. Oh, but Buxom is so iconic. Like their glosses are so iconic. And that would be my lip. <laughs> Not this. Okay, you guys, and that is it. <laughs> Seeing this lip on me is actually shocking. Like the lips specifically is shocking me because I would literally wear the palest nude lipstick I could find thinking that it was like, oh, like so juicy and thick. 
So I think for me, <laughs> the lip is not really something I would do now. So this is not something I would continue to use. I wouldn't use Peekaboo Neutral with Myth uh, with a light baby doll pink gloss on top. Um, I would definitely do a little bit more of an ombre effect, a little more on the nude side on the lip liner with a little more of a brown tone and then mix and match to get something still nude, but complimenting my lips and not necessarily a blocked out um, pale concealer lip which is what it is right now. I would just kind of hone in a little bit more. So the lips, I would have to be like changing up the routine just a hair. Just a hair, because that's a no-go for me. It's a no-go. The lip haunts me. It's a, it's a little haunting, I'm not gonna lie. But that is it, you guys. That's it for testing all of these old school goodies I used to be literally obsessed with and wear all the time. More Fix Plus, because honestly, there's never enough Fix Plus. And what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the look? How do you guys think it turned out? Honestly, I will say, I think that my complexion looks amazing. I really, really like how it looks. I love the sheer glow foundation. Um, I feel like with it all kind of built up with a warm soul and even with Hula bronzer, even though it's a little bit too dark for me, I feel, I feel like it does look good. It's just kind of weird seeing me like this because I feel like it's just throwing me back so intensely to like seven, eight years ago when I worked in beauty retail. Oh, like nine years ago, seriously. So it's a little shocking. Not my eyes like this because this, I'm more talented now, I would say. Like I can actually do more makeup now <laughs> than I used to be able to do, but it's so fascinating. Overall, I would say a lot of these products I would continuously use and freaking love and I'm not gonna get rid of them. Like really, really impressed. There's some things here that I'm like, mm, doesn't really fit my vibe anymore. It's not like what I would go for in the beauty space. Like not what I would like, not what I would go for, not what I would use. But for the most part, like a lot of this stuff is like, no wonder you were like an icon in the time. Cause you're still iconic and it's stayed iconic through the times. She has stayed iconic through the times. A lot of these products are. So I just wanna say I'm still in shock. I just want to say anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, this throwback. I feel like it's a little shocking. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little bit shook by this whole thing. But I actually really had a lot of fun doing it. I'm not going to lie. Don't forget to check out Macy's. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out the uh, holiday gift guide, by the way, if you guys are interested in checking that out. I just think it's a really, really great resource for those people who might not exactly know what they want to get a loved one, but might want to like help a little bit more you know, guided help on what to get someone at like great price points. So um, check out Macy's, they're freaking great. You know, they're feeling the festive spirit. They want you, their customers to feel the festive spirit up in here. So um, I feel festive. But my little green shirt, that's not mine. I think it's Aaron's, my baby brother's. Cause this don't fit me, I promise you that. It don't fit me. <laughs> Anyways guys, I love you so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. <laughs> hey guys. Hola guys. Hey guys. Um <laughs> why am I coughing? <laughs> if this hair doesn't come off me, <gasps> I'm gonna sweat through this shirt, I already know. Like it's fine. If I am sweating by the end of this, it's fine. You guys have to bear with me. Um so be prepared for that. Because I am a sweaty monster. Why won't this open, buddy? I wasn't as makeup savvy as I once as I once was. Or I am now. What? I remember my moi, 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 moi. I can't speak today for some reason. That was like kind of impressive. It's Manny out in the field one last time. I just want to say again, thank you to Macy's for sponsoring today's video. You guys were wonderful to work with, and I hope we do it again soon.